stick this out. Just the day or two after this other one, where we went to that wine farm, we're doing the four passes trail. We're at the top of the, or close to the top of the Otaniqua Pass. Never stop here. There are several places you can stop next to the next to the uh, Otaniqua Pass. We're just in time for sunrise. Check that. Nice parking, nice little chill spot here. There's something at the top here as well. I think I saw a little path going up here. Uh, something that used to be there, obviously stolen, probably copper or something. Uh, in memory, remembering something. Anyway, just on the other side, just on the other side of the Otaniqua Pass there, we've got uh, the start of the Four Passes Trail. Which we haven't done before, and let's go and do it. Let's go and see what it's like. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. So, let's see where it takes us to at that forest. Yeah. Ek, thanks, sir. Yeah. This gives you a good idea about how overgrown it is but no thorns or anything that can leave you full of permanent scars but clearly overgrown so i'm just giving you an idea and this is probably what it's going to be like all the way but so uh, not that overgrown that you can't see anything on your right hand side you can see the path the whole time You've just got to try and keep an eye out and see exactly where the trail is supposed to be here. We're right on a ledge here the whole time. But it's doable. You can sort of see where there's supposed to be a trail here. We've constantly got these rocks on the left here as well. And flowers. So yeah, let's carry on and see if we can get to that forest section. Wow, I was about to stop recording. Check this here. Then you get sections like this where it opens up again. Or things are not as high. And perfectly doable with these rock formations. Also on your left hand side. Found a little waterfall, but it's so little water you're not going to see it. Dead center of the screen, and coming down, but then it just disappears. So you'd, there's no water here, but it's so close that the water running up there has got to be going somewhere. And lo and behold, it's open at the top there. And we've made quite a bit of progress since the last recording. Some parts are more open than others. And but it's all doable. Check here. It just stands out. It's worth a photo now. Let's see if I can take a photo. And we're not too far from the forest that I've been dying to see where this trail brings us to. Yes, we're reaching the forest here. It's been all pretty level, as I've said in a previous clip or two, overgrown, but <laughs> this could be fun now, because now we're reaching this forest with old, let me tell you something, old trees. I've seen pieces of forest with trees the size of X, and then I've seen forests with trees a lot older. Now these ones are clearly older than other pieces of forest I've seen. Wow! Wow! Let's come and camp here ladies and gentlemen. Let's come and set up our tent here. Nice and open. And let me keep quiet. Yes, yes we've got water. We've got water. 
Is dat? Ons kom sit als tent op hier. So, ja. Put up a tent here. I can promise you, even if it's so close to the Otanikwa Pass, nobody seems to come here. <coughs> Ooh, and we got ferns inside this forest here. Let's see. This admittedly does look like someone's walked here, but long ago a lot of branches we've got to go up and hmm? <laughs> that's all awesome cake. She's just asking me the do I think it goes this road goes to the bottom. I said, I don't know. That we'll have to see. Record a bit now now again. I actually showed some of the forest. Yeah, certainly before the forest. I didn't record anything. We were just having a snack or two while we were in the forest there. And the forest is dead center. So now we're on our way back. And moral of the story of the forest. It clearly came to, the trail seemed to come to an end there. Just like uh, I thought it may be, because you can see it from the pass. It looks like it ends there, and now it's been confirmed that this uh, old trail, very old trail, seems to stop right there in that forest. So that's your goal, getting to that forest. Ends up being about Twee en hoeveel kilometer? Twee, twee. Twee, About two kilometers from where we started today. 2.5. 2.5. It feels longer because of a bit of a wonder bashing. But it's only two kilometers. And I'm glad we came and checked this out. You've got this view on 99.9999% of this trail here. The four passes trail. We actually got to find a spot where we're looking at all four passes, otherwise they wouldn't call it all four passes. Maybe this is one of them. One, Otaniqua, uh, Cradle, Otaniqua Pass, Montague Railway, but Cradock Pass is not actually very visible from here. Cradock Pass is on the other side of that hill there, I think. Huh? Could be wrong but i think so so maybe there's a better view spot for it to be called the four passes there must be a long tunnel going under there otherwise that would be a dam that's your otaniqua pass there you've got the, all this water that would be coming here there's probably quite a spectacular tunnel going through there or else we would have seen some sort of dam here maybe worth a look at some stage that takes a bit of serious window bashing getting down there obviously i can only imagine a nice thick broad uh channel going through there where one can walk just like that narnia one we did with all the uh, what's a flare mason in engels now i'll think of it now a bat yeah like all those bats we had at narnia As we walk along here, we've been checking the power van. That little train, anybody who watches this for the first time, the power van is a little, not, not even a train, it's a van. Let's call it a large van that goes on the railway line. Takes passengers up to a viewpoint, chilling out for half an hour, and then takes them back to the station again. And from where we are, you can see a huge part of the railway line. Railway pass all along there, 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 there. And you can even hear from all the way here, you can hear that van. But now we've lost sight of it. And amazing how, how that sound can travel. You can sometimes hear it from miles higher as well. I don't know what's happened to it. Let's see if we can spot it now. No. We're not too far. From our parking spot there is an individual at our parking spot i see probably just for the view so yeah you've got your open parts like earlier your more closed parts overgrown parts slightly open and so it goes on
finished with the level part and what I've found is a clear well a path that is clearly supposed to be the path that we were supposed to take up we're going sharply down out you look carefully there's a vehicle parking area on the other side of the path there now yep this is definitely an X uh, trail this we just didn't discover it when we got out of the vehicle we just climbed straight up and knew that we would get onto the level part at some stage but here we go let's just carry on and see where it takes us to as long as we're heading to the direction of yes 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 look what we find look what we find now we know where to go next time when we come here we went up there yeah so you've got this section here we went up there now at least we know in future come up here, here. look at this Esther we've got our yeah, maar ik ga nu nooit wijzen onder zit de vehicle. Just come down from these stairs, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. This was another new one. We had to go and do it at some stage. See what it did. And now we know. And no doubt one can go and do it again. In fact, next time when we go up, we may decide to turn left. What we did today is once you get to the whole level part. We turned right and headed to that forest and since it is overgrown, it's no less and more overgrown than the part that uh, one can go left there. So we may do that at some stage and thanks for joining, click on subscribe, click on the like and please leave a comment if you like, make suggestions. Uh, if you're a foreigner, what do you think of our mountains here in George? And uh, yeah, thumbs up. And thanks for watching, if you've been watching this.